The last thing we will have you do in the audition is sight read. We all know that sight reading is scary, partly because no matter how well you read music, when you're in an audition and nerves are running high, every piece of music looks like this when you first lay eyes on it. However, sight reading is actually a really useful skill that will make it easier for you to play in a group. Our student board have compiled some tips and tricks to help you become a better sight reader, and I'm going to share those with you now. First off, look at the top left. Notice the key signature and the time signature. Scan through, seek out sneaky rhythms and count through them silently in your head. Sing through the entire piece in your mind. We will wait. This is also a power move on your part, a way to assert your dominance over the music. Mind the accidentals. Decide on a manageable speed. This gets back to the sneaky rhythms. Think about what speed you can play those passages successfully and let that inform your overall tempo. Look for dynamics, pianos, fortes, mezzo fortes, and give them the attention they deserve. Take some deep breaths. This is sight reading. It won't sound perfect. Nobody ever plays sight reading exercise perfectly. Finally, when you're ready, count yourself in. The most important thing to do when sight reading is to keep going because this is what you have to do when you play in a group. How you recover from a mistake is just as important as how well you read overall, if not more important. Like any skill, you can practice sight reading to get better at it before your audition. Find some simple songbooks for your instrument that contain many tunes. Practice playing through them non-stop, no matter what. Try some of the tips and tricks our student board recommended. And once again, ask your teacher to work with you on becoming a better sight reader.